another edition of How to Pass the Math FSA, the fourth grade edition. We have our standard today. It's maths.4.md.1.3. For us, that means it's lesson 22, and it's time for some area and perimeter. Woo! Perimeter. That's my dog, Bella, walking around on the floor. Perimeter. All adding up all the sides, and area is multiplying the length times the width. You've already been exposed to this a little bit from third grade, so we're just going to add on to that. So, without further ado, let me teach you. All right, a rectangular rug with dimensions given in feet. Dimensions, that just means the length that we're using. Um, with dimensions given in feet is shown, not shower, Shown, period. All right, we've got eight feet, three feet, eight feet, three feet. What is the area in square feet of the rug? So the area, we multiply the length times the width. So eight times three equals 24. And remember for area, you have to write square in your answer. So 24 square feet. All right. And then for perimeter, what is the perimeter in feet of the rug? Perimeter means we are adding up all the sides. So eight plus eight is 16. Three plus three is six. We add those up. We've got 22 feet. No square for perimeter, just the unit. 24 feet. Okay, we're on example two, but before we go on any further, let me just remind you that if you look in the description box below, you will see a link. If you click that link, it will take you to my resource, the How to Pass the Math FSA, the complete guide. And that is where you will learn how to do, you'll have all of these problems at your disposal on paper that you can just print out plus additional problems that are very similar to what you see in the videos, but they just don't make it to the video. So let's do this. Let's rock the math FSA. All right, example two, Diego needs a rug with an area of 540 square feet. Select all, it's a multi-select. Select all of the sizes of rugs that Diego could choose. So what I need to do since we're Finding the area, I should have boxed that. We're multiplying the length times the width. So I need to multiply all these lengths times the widths to see if I get 540. All right, so first, nine times 60. Nine times 60, nine times six equals 54. We have a zero, zero. So yes, that would give us 540 square feet. 50. B says 50 times 40 feet. So five times four is 20. One, two zeros, one, two zeros. Whoa, that's not 540. No, sir. Five times 40 feet. Five times four is 20. Plus our zero, add that on. That'd be 200 feet, which is not 540 feet last time I checked. Excuse me. 50 times four would be five times four, which is 20 at the zero, boom, 20, 200 feet, no. Come on, E. 90 feet times six feet, well, nine times six would be 540. I'm sorry, nine times six would be 54. Skip it ahead. Add on our zero, that would be 540, yes. Example three, the perimeter of a rectangular rug is 18 feet. Draw a rectangle that shows one possible size of the rug. So I need it to be 18 feet and I need to draw it on here. And let me bring this a little bit closer so you can see that this is actually grid. It's actually a grid. Do you see, do you see all the little grids, all the little boxes within that? All right, so in each little line, each unit is one foot. Okay, so I know it's kind of far away, but on your complete guide, 
the resource that you will be using at home, um, you'll be able to see. So we know the perimeter of a rectangle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw it down here first. I know I need to have a rectangle and it needs to, the perimeter needs to equal 18 feet. So let me just kind of play around with numbers. What if this were five feet and five feet? That would give five plus five would give me 10. So now I only need eight more feet to get the perimeter. So what plus what equals eight feet? It might be the same. Four plus four equals eight feet. All right, so this worked. Eight. So now I have five plus five is 10. Four plus four is eight. 10 plus eight is 18. I just gotta draw this baby in right now. So I'm looking and I need to make the top row five. One, two, three, four, five. Going down four. I'm gonna go ahead and label it as five feet, five feet, four feet and four feet. All right, last one, only four today. And I love these types of problems. I hope you love them too. You just wait and see. Let's see if you like it. A rectangle has a length, has a length of 12 feet and a perimeter of 40 feet. What is the width in feet of the rectangle? So we are looking for the width. Let me draw out what we know, which is what you should be doing too as you follow along with me and what you should do on the FSA when you see this type of problem. All right, it's a multiple choice answer, um, which means there's only one correct answer. But here we go, a rectangle, one step at a time, a rectangle, there's our rectangle. Kind of a sloppy rectangle, but you can use your imagination. Has a length, a length, of 12 feet and a perimeter, the whole thing, when we add up all the sides, equals 40 feet. So I need to determine what the width is. Okay, so I know that if this length is 12 feet, then this length is also 12 feet. And here's what I know about the perimeter so far. 12 plus 12 gives me 24. Okay, so if I know the whole thing is 40, if I subtract what the entire perimeter is, minus what I know, which is 24, okay, I can't do zero minus four, so I need to regroup. That becomes a 10, 10 minus four is six, three minus two is one, we have 16, which is an answer. But that's not the answer because that would be the rest of the perimeter, but we still have two sides. If we did 16 and 16, that would be 24, 16 plus 16 is 32, 4 plus 2 is 6, 5 plus 3 is, I'm sorry, 2 plus 3 is 5, 56 is not the perimeter, it's 40. Don't get tricked. We do need to use this 16 though. And what we need to do is we need to split it between these two sides. So what plus what equals 16? Right, 8 feet plus eight feet equals 16. And now let's check to make sure we get 40. 12 plus 12 is 24. Eight plus eight is 16. Four plus six is 10. One plus two plus one is 40, which is our perimeter. So what is the width? The width, just one side of the rectangle, it would be eight feet. All right, that's a wrap for today. But before we head out to, I don't know, go to our next step um, today. Let me leave you with this to think about. It says, no one can make me angry without my permission. When you get angry at somebody or because something happened to you, you gave somebody or that thing permission to make you angry. You let them in and you let them make you angry. So just know that, that you have power over your emotions and you can choose whether or not to be angry. So being angry is totally normal. 
okay? Totally normal. Things in life are gonna happen and you're gonna get frustrated with it, okay? But you have to recognize that there's a power within you to say, okay, I'm angry right now, but I don't wanna be angry anymore. I choose not to be angry, okay? So if somebody says something mean to you, and they're like, hey, your hair looks silly. You can choose whether or not to let that make you angry. Simple as that. Decide not to. I mean, the sooner you can get rid of that anger, the better. It's up to you. Nobody is making you angry. You're allowing yourself to be angry. So um, that's for you all out there. We all struggle with it. We all work on it. Um, but that's all I got for you today. So I will see you in the next episode. Woohoo!